What is going on guys, Dr. Chosen here, and today I'm going ahead and doing the World Edit Part 2 video. Um, I know the first few, uh, video got a lot of attention, so I'm here to make a little more um, complex guide for you. For anyone who wants to see how I've been making, you know, like these mushrooms you see me behind, or see behind me rather. This entire section of this map, Confectionary Carnival, if you've seen the other videos, you know what this is, right? Adventure map coming out next month. This entire section of the map, all world edit. These giant mushroom trees, gumdrop, whatever you want to think, all these mushroom trees are also world edit. You might be asking like, oh, how can I do stuff like this? And that's what I'm going to show you guys today. I'm also going to show you how to cover or change like an entire island. See how this is all red and this is all pink. I'll show you how to change all this over to pink to match it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing you want to do, just like in the part one videos, you want to get your axe. If you already have it out, great. If not, make sure you find it in your inventory and pull it out. Once you have your axe, you're going to go find where you want to first set your block. So like, let's say you want from there all the way to that, that corner or something, and you want to change it all to this pink concrete powder, right? So you're going to find your first position, right? Let me find it. You want to come all the way over here and do slash slash position one right here. Then you're going to fly all the way to the other end in the opposite corner and do the same thing, but position two. And then once you get to the other side, um, I'm not going to make it perfect just for the sake of time in the video, but you want to make, you can make it like a pillar up and then place a block over here and then make that position two. I'll just make like this corner position two, for example, so you're going to do slash slash position two. And now that you have this set, you're going to do slash slash replace. And since it's already copied to the, uh, your clipboard, you don't need to do anything else. You're going to replace pink terracotta or whatever block is on the ground. For example, if it's grass, you want to put grass, or if it's dirt, you replace dirt, you know, so on and so forth. And then you're going to set it to the block you want to change to. So you can see 102,000 blocks will be changed. If you have a good enough computer, you can just watch it happen by itself. As you can see, some parts over here I missed, right? But I, just for the sake of video, I'm not trying to get every single thing in. I can do that later. But you can see all this area that was once all pink terracotta is now changed to pink concrete powder and it makes it a lot better makes it fit the map and so that's how you go ahead and do that it's a really simple command i recommend you guys try it out if you're trying to do some larger builds and then you can also do replace and you can also add percentages if you want right the same thing as you did with the brush sphere that you've watched in the part one video you know you can go ahead you can paint it with the axe as well but i find it to be a lot quicker to just replace the entire section and then if you want to change parts of it you go back through with this command all right i went ahead and switched over to my world edit my sandbox world where i you know brainstorm various ideas various new designs and you can see here a bunch of different things um i copy and pasted this using world edit from uh, one map onto the other i'll show you guys how you guys can do that yourself um, and then I'll show you how you can make like different designs like this world edit very simple floating islands So let's go ahead and get into this part So let's say you want to make you have a giant build like a pirate ship for example on one map And you want to change it over to a different one of your worlds So the way you can do that with world edit is you want to go ahead and do the same exact thing you did with the Previous thing I showed you where you're gonna find the exact top of it. You're gonna position one and then you're going to go all the way to the bottom, find position two, like you did before. Let's just say, for example, let's just do um, here to be safe, right? Position two. Now you're going to do schematic, save, and for example, let's do ship. Oh, sorry. Before you do that, sorry, you got to do copy. And it's going to copy everything, including the air entities. So if you don't have this high in the air, it will delete all the blocks below. Just some, a word of caution. And then what you can go ahead and do is do schematic save and whatever you want to name it for example is a ship, pirate ship so i'm gonna name it ship now if you go into any other world um you can then go ahead and like let's say go all the way over here maybe set block negative 76 50 negative 95 grass just for example sorry i'm to build up right so you have this here you're then gonna go slash slash paste and it'll lag for a minute just bear with me and boom, you have the pirate ship. You have another ship right over here. Once you have it saved here, you can also rotate it if you want it facing a different way. So you're going to do slash slash rotate 90. And then the clipboard will rotate it 90 degrees, right? So it'll be facing this way. You rotate it 180. It'll be facing this way. You rotate it um, what, 270. It'll go this way. And then 360, obviously, it's just facing the same way as it was. So you don't really care about that. But now if I go ahead and do paste you can see the ship is now over here facing this way. 
So it's really cool, instead of having to build multiple ships if you're trying to make a fleet, you can just make one or two and then you can copy and paste them. And you can make giant fleets this way. It'll look really cool if you were to do some sort of map like that. Maybe I'll do one in the future. But yeah, that's how you do schematic. Um, And you can have a bunch of schematic saved, right? Like schematic load, for example, Ferris. Oh, I'm sorry, you saw it, right? There's the Ferris wheel. It's a very old design I did, but that's why it's the new schematics named Ferris 2 or something like that. But anyway, you get the idea, right? You can change it however you want, however you want to save it, and it works in between worlds. So another thing, if you saw the World Edit Part 1 video, then you'll know I use Brush Sphere to make a bunch of uh, like things like this, right? But if you want to really make floating islands look good, then you're going to want to mess with, mess with the different brush sizes in the way I'm doing it now, right? So for example, let me come up here. All right, let's use this as like our center point, for example, right? We're gonna do brush sphere, stone, six. Just keep it very simple. Boom, all right, we have this. Now what you can do is every time you can change the size of it from six to five, find the center. Four, three, two, one. And then the one you can make a little higher and then you can do like this, for example. And then you can get these looking fit and then you can go ahead and cut it fill it in if you want and then you can do the exact same going down and it really it's a really nice way to make a lot of natural looking um stalagmites until caves and cliffs update comes out then obviously you can have way more designs than what you see here but yeah as you can see that's basically how i make a lot of the uh, pillars you saw and maybe crystal avalanche or some of the other maps the last thing i want to show you guys today in today's video is how to make a gi giant custom forest really quickly using world edit um and a way you can do that is for example in order to do the world edit forest command it has to be on grass or pods or whatever the tree would naturally grow on so for example if i'm working on the Candyland map and i have this giant area of terracotta and i try and do brush forest sphere you know five large spruce or whatever right i right click nothing's gonna happen i right click over here right they get planted i go back over here nothing happens right so you want to go ahead and do brush sphere, grass block, six, right? Mask, whatever the block is you're painting on, just like you did in the first video, right? So you're going to cover all this, change it all to grass, right? Boom, easy, perfect, it's simple enough, right? Then let's say you want these trees to be like, let's say you want the leaves to be a custom color, right? So you can do brush sphere, I'm going to go pink wool just for the example of the cotton candy trees I made. I'm going to mask the spruce leaves. And what this will do, is this will change them all to look like this. And now you have these large spruce trees that were quickly generated and used in the forest command that are now looking more like cotton candy trees. And you can also do it to where, for example, pink wool, comma, light, blue, wool. And you do mask the pink wool, right? And you can get a little bit of blue up in there, make it look a little better. So this is how I made the trees, if you guys were curious, in the other world. And then you can make massive, massive forests like this. And what you can also do is, if you have a giant custom bunch of custom trees, then you can do the schematic save load and put all the trees in and then repaint them to look like this. Anyways, that's all I really have to share in this video. Um, I really appreciate, again, 4,000 views on the first one, so I decided to make this and edit it. Um, I hope this is helpful, and if you have guys have any questions with World Edit, I'll go ahead and answer them in the comments, or as always, you can DM me on Instagram. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Twitter as well is always open, and I really appreciate all the subs. We're getting close to 500. I really hope we can hit it by the end of the month. So I'll see you guys on the next one, and again, Confectionary Carnival comes out end of the month or towards May. Be sure to be on the lookout. If you haven't played my other adventure maps, I'll link them all below. And I hope you guys have a good weekend, and I will see you all on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Wait, Dr. Chosen has a Patreon? Shut the fuck up, Jason. Dr. Chosen has a Twitch, a YouTube, a Patreon, and an Instagram. Wait. The beacon tier? The handle is at Dr. Chosen. I got rid of all the higher